Ladies and gentlemen, the evil tycoons, welcome back to Gunsmith. That's right, my name of course is Obita Potato. In the last, in the last episode, we got production line number one completely transformed into this monstrosity, which I'm not actually sure increases uh, camel glove production altogether too much. However, maybe it does, maybe it does, maybe it actually works. Uh, I don't know, there's maybe a little bit of tweaking that we can do to this in order to make it work just a little bit better. But, you know, so far I'm not too displeased with it. We also got production line number two up and running, which was basically a copy of production number one, uh, production line number one at the time. But, uh, but that has subsequently changed to, uh, to this monstrosity. Anyway, where are we? What are we going to be doing? Well, immediately we are going to start work on the uh, combat apparel research, right? So we need 30 research points. We've got 33 available. Uh, we need to get the, the zipping machine researched, which we have actually done, which is, uh, which is really, really nice, which means that we can immediately start work on this, and that's going to allow us to, uh, to make some combat boots, some camel vests, some combat trousers, and a combat backpack. That's right. We're going to be, uh, and we're going to be hopefully manufacturing all of those uh, over the course of this episode. Storage area is looking fine. Glove production is is looking very, very fine, to be honest. Pretty, pretty very much okay with that. The only thing that I really think could be tweaked is maybe, honestly, let me pause the game and see if we can try and change this around a little bit. Right, because I think that we could almost certainly do... I think we could almost certainly do with dueling this setup over here. So if we grab one of these flow splitters, that's right, we thump it in there after, of course, we zip all of that stuff up. Right, we grab ourselves a flow splitter. That goes in there like so. And then we stick in one of those, the X cutters. I don't want to spend too much. I don't want to spend too much time on this... Uh, on this on this production line like you know that was that was for the last episode the last episode was last episode this episode is this episode but you know it is it is probably worth me just seeing if I can try and create somewhat of an improvement here I'm hoping anyway that by doubling the amount of uh, by doubling the amount of stuff that we have coming out of the dispenser or doubling or doubling the amount of stuff that is going into the two the two different cutting machines means that we hopefully will be able to give ourselves maybe a couple more gloves i i don't really know I'm not entirely convinced that it works like that but that's okay that's okay we'll 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 give it a shot you know we're we're still very very much in the uh, experimental stages of the game so is that aligned that's not actually aligned mm, yeah Okay, that will be aligned once we get this set up. We'll get the same belt set up on the outset over here. Uh, yep. It's literally comes out there. Out. Okay, is this gonna is this gonna line up? This might not line up, and therefore that could potentially be a problem. Actually, it should not be a problem. I don't think it'll be a problem if I if I play my cards right here. Uh, yet it still it still might be a problem. Uh, no worries. Okay, that goes in there and that goes in there. Really ram it in, <laughs> right? Okay, great, 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 great. I think that that is honestly good enough to just work. So we just need to make sure that these are both controlled by uh, controlled by machines. There we go, get that added, added, added. Excellent. Get these both turned on. We need to make sure that the recipes are set for fabric gloves, fabric gloves, perfect. And then we just unpause and hope that it all works. Ooh, we need to make sure that this machine is set to set to that as well. Excellent. That is outputting at the moment, which is great. We've got plenty of fabric gloves coming. This bit doesn't need to be there. Cool. All right, it looks, hmm. Okay, it looks like this is a pretty, a pretty bad setup, even though we should have. Hmm. Even though we should have the ability to move stuff around a little bit, it just doesn't seem to want to work. 
So, I mean, that's a that's bad news. It's bad news, I will say. That is, uh, that is bad, bad, bad news. Not happy about the fact that that's not working. But, uh, you know, frankly, is there much that I can do at this point? Not necessarily. I mean, I could go for a little, a little bridge increase. Raise belts. Yeah, we can try this. We can definitely try something like this. Hold up. Yeah, give me, give me a rise two meters. Excellent. And then will that work underneath there? It won't work underneath there. That's that's a pretty big shame, to be honest. That will presumably work in there if I wanted it to. Hmm. I think that there is probably uh, a way that we can make this work, to be honest. As crazy as it sounds, I think that there is a way that we can make this work. Also, if we were to just move this, like, right across here... Is the reason that I can't move this right into here because of the absence of gloves? Yeah, because... Okay, no. Alright. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. You... You have your... You have your wish, video game. You have your wish. Is it possible? Is it possible? Is it possible... To do... To do that and still... And still have it work? Turn that on. Turn that on. Okay. Unpause. It's it's a bit ambitious, perhaps. No, it's it's going it's going it's still going it's still going down. Okay, the the the, brah, the restrictiveness the restrictiveness of the glove setup is is very very firm. Like there is no absolutely no cause uh, or no no margin for error. I should say there is absolutely none because this is. This is just miserable. This is just miserable. Because we need like one and a half meter belts in order to make this properly work. Because if it doesn't properly work on this on this time scale, then we're gonna have we're gonna have a problem. What if I just move everything back a little bit? Would that work? Is that just mad enough to work? I think that might be mad enough to just work. I just I'm such an idiot, but also yeah, I'm, no, I'm just an idiot. Let's just leave it at idiot then. Okay. Go. Unpause. Let's do it. Okay. So, double whammy, double whammy, double whammy glove production. We should get absolutely loads of gloves coming through here, which should mean that we're going to get uh, double production on the camel gloves, which is kind of nice. I, I've also created an absolute mess on the factory floor because of the sheer number of gloves that I've, uh, that I've got kicking around. But that is, that is not too much of a problem. Decrease the output speed as much as we possibly can. And we'll continue to chuck gloves out onto those belts there. Okay, now let's not faff around with gloves too much more. I, I faffed around with gloves a lot in the last episode. Did we get done with the research? Did we get done with the gosh darn research? Research points 30. Okay, give me... Give me some more, some more research points. Uh, we should have finished the, the research yesterday, but apparently we just didn't. Uh, we should also still be selling as much stuff as we possibly can. We've got one active order at this moment in time. 520 gloves. Order value, 3,000 bucks. I mean, it's not very much, is it? It's not very much at all. Uh, we are going to increase the output speed here. So increase that up to 5 seconds. Increase that up to 5 seconds as well. There we go. Just to make sure that we're not outputting a ridiculously large amount of stuff. Because I have a funny feeling that we do have rather a large amount of plastic blocks that still need to be dispensed with. That does indeed seem to be the case. Okay, so it looks like physics-based solutions to, to problems sometimes work. Like here... Other times, they don't work when you try to insert gloves into this little caution box over here. It's never a never a good idea to try and insert gloves into a caution box. That's what they say, right? That is what they say. I've been I've been led to believe. Uh, but it certainly looks like it certainly looks like this is this is working. It certainly looks like this is working anyway. Uh, we can lower this down to as low as possible. Lower that down to as low as possible. Yeah. 
lower that down to as low as possible. That's as low as it can. Yeah, I mean, look, this is this is fine. This is fine. We're we're good. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay. Uh, continue to hoover up that little little bit of nonsense. All right. Let's let's get some research. Let's get some research done, and let's do it. Let's do it El Pronto style, please. That's right. As quick as you possibly can, video game. We are keen to make some progress. And I'm keen to make some real money as well. That's that's what I'm after. I'm after money, and I'm after new equipment. New equipment is very, very key. Okay, Combat Apparel Tier 1 has been researched. We've acquired some more research points, which I'm immediately going to turn right back down because we don't need any. So, with that, we can make Combat Trousers, Camo Vests... Okay, what do we want to make? Combat backpack, I guess? Maybe a combat backpack? Let me have a little look at the cookbook to see exactly what I want to make, actually. Uh, okay. So, camo gloves we are we are making. Camo gloves we are making. Whoops, a daisy. Camo gloves we are making. Combat trousers. So, fabric sheet comes in. It goes into the cutter machine. We do already have a cutter machine. We do already have a cutter machine. And then it gets sewing. It goes through two sewing machines. It goes through two sewing machines. Then it goes through a zipping machine. Therefore, two sewing machines are needed. Then it goes through two zipping machines. And then it comes to the end of the line. I mean, that's okay, to be honest. I mean, it's not particularly challenging. It's not particularly challenging at all to get this done. I'm just wondering, is it at all possible to do with our with our current setup. I wonder if it might be possible, rather than adjusting for a brand new line, we just see if we can try and add on uh, a little bit of a little bit of extra stuff to this line. The only problem is, is that grabbing a brand new dispenser honestly seems a little bit cheaper and a little bit easier than giving myself a, a flow splitter, to be honest. So, you know what? Maybe I'll just straight up go for something like this and I'll just, you know, I'll literally just create a new line. Sounds very, very lame, but, uh, but you know, needs must, etc. And I think if this is the most cost-effective way of doing it, then I would be stupid not to do that, right? Okay, fabric sheets, excellent. Output, combat, trousers. I, that's the, that's the one. Camo vests, how do you make camo vests, actually? Literally in the cutter as well. Hmm. Hmm. If it's literally in the cutter as well. Maybe there is a lot to be said, actually. Maybe there is a lot to be said about flow splitting. We get a three-way splitter. We get a three-way splitter right here. How about that? Or, well, I say right here. Right there. Yeah, sure. That goes in there. We grab... We grab the three outputs... Yep. Yeah. So we grab three outputs. Something looks like this. Is that aligned? Nope. There we go. Again, this is maybe just a little bit... A little bit too overkill. But that's okay. I'm in... I'm in the gunsmithing business. Overkill sounds like something that I should be very, very interested in. Okay, cutter machine... Right, there we go. Okay, so that means, that means one of these, one of these makes combat trousers, right? One of these makes fabric vests, which is literally just fabric sheets. And then the other one can make fabric boots, which is just from fabric sheets. Uh, and then the other one, what the heck is this? Fabric backpack? That's also, that's another thing? Okay, Fabric backpack, I'm assuming, is maybe, maybe, hopefully, a little bit more complex. The reason that maybe we want it to be complex, it's not even that much more complex. Do I just, like, literally double down and see if I can try and get another splitter here somewhere? No, I don't want to, I don't want to mess around with that too. I don't want to mess around with this too much. Okay, combat trousers, fabric vest, fabric boots. Okay, excellent. Don't turn this on quite yet. Don't even get myself uh, another desk. Actually, no, tell a lie. We can get ourselves... We can get ourselves a desk over here. All right, desk over there. Wonderful. Uh, we will recruit and assign an employee. And then I will add this, add this, add this, add this, add this. We've got 
15, sorry, 14 stations that we can, that we can sort out, which is grand. Uh, that we can add to this singular desk over here, which is great. Okay, pause because we need to we need to do this We need to do this and we need to do this in a timely fashion. Okay starting at the left with combat trousers What have we got literally just a double sewing level? literally a double a double sewing level so output In fact doesn't even need to be doesn't even need to be a big output to be honest we can We can do something like that to save a little bit more space that sounds entirely reasonable. Maybe we don't want to save as much space as we are saving here. But that's okay. Okay, so sewing level twice needs to go through the, the sewing machine twice, which is grand. Then it needs to go through the zipping machine twice. To be honest, actually, I don't want to I don't want to have it this compact. The reason that I don't want to have it this compact is that I wonder if I'm going to be able to pass like multiple different products through the same through the same, uh, through the same area. There we go, looking good. Okay, then we go zipping machines. Zippers. Oh, th how is the sewing machine tiny? And then the zipping machine absolutely ginormous. I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Anyway, give me some more belt over here. Doesn't cost that much either. All right, so that looks good. That looks very, very nice. Okay, okay, excellent, 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 excellent. So that is combat trousers. Then that's gonna bring us towards the end of the line. We do need to get a boxing machine set up, but ah, whatever. Don't even, don't even worry about that for now. Don't even worry about that for now. Okay, uh, right, camo vests, camo vests. That's a little bit more of a problem because we need to get some plastic fitting in here as well. Fine, okay. Uh, we'll deal with plastic, sorry, camo vests at the end, perhaps. Yeah, give me, give me combat boots for now. Combat boots also require plastic. Okay, combat backpack also require plastic. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, the, the plastic isn't really a problem. The only problem with the plastic is that it requires yet more space. It requires another dispenser. It requires more... It requires more stuff, really. That's that's it. That's the, the concern, to be honest. Uh, although, are the recipes kind of similar? Combat trousers, the easy one. Yeah, we got that set up. Camo vests. It's literally... It's literally creating, like, a whole bunch of plastic fittings. I mean, that's literally it. Okay. That's literally it. I mean, we do have, like, a bunch of plastic fittings coming out here already. We do have... We do have plastic fittings being made in abundance, actually, over here. Hmm. This is making... This is making me think. This is making me think maybe we could just siphon some of the some of the plastic fittings out from over here. But if we were to do that, then that would end up creating further problems, you know, down the down the line. So it's almost it's almost not worth faffing around with that and just starting starting afresh over here. Anyway, look, what was I doing? Camo vest. Okay, so camo vest is going to come out of here. It's going to get cut in the cutting machine and then it's going to get zipped in the zippy machine. So that's going to go in there. And then it's going to come through and get processed into plastic over here. Combat boots are the same, except it's a sewing level. A sewing level and then a zipping level. Cool. And that's it. And then it's going to get plastic. Uh, and then it's going to get plastic treated. Fine. All right. Let's get let's get the belts lined up. So at least that we've at least we've got like a fabric a fabric setup over here. Okay. I should also probably just bring one belt online so that at least I'm able to make a little bit of cash. Okay. But that's okay. That's okay. Right. So this comes forward over here. Right. Nice. We are very, very low on the old... on the old cash. But that's fine. Okay. Let's, let's actually... Let's actually, for once, practice what I preach. Uh, I need a boxer. 
Is that what it's called? A boxing machine? Yeah, that's the one. Intermediate boxing? Uh, yeah, no, just give me, give me intermediate. Uh, give me final boxing as opposed to intermediate boxing. Oh, that lightened up perfectly. Excellent. And then I'll take an end of the line. Brilliance. And so what we are going to do is we are going to get this machine. We're going to add this, 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 and this. And we can't add that. Power everything on. Which, of course, we can't do because we don't have enough power. Of course, why would that why would that work out the way that we wanted it to? Of course not. Okay, that costs a ridiculously large amount of money. Here's hoping that that's enough. It is enough, thank goodness. I've actually got plenty of power. Okay, so let's unpause. Let's see it. Uh, let's see it all get distributed. Fabric sheets. Let's get them dispensed. Power off that. Power off that. We don't want to. We don't want to do anything. We don't want to do anything with this area quite yet. We don't want any nonsense coming through here. Yeah. But we do want to get trousers, we want to get them double sewn, and we want to get them boxed up and sent away as quickly as we possibly can. Yeah, so how many fabric sheets do we need? We need three fabric sheets in order to... in order to get over here. Okay, so let's see if we can try and max out the speed at which fabric sheets are dispensed. Excellent. And to be honest, this is now the moment where we need to realize, first of all, Let's pause and let's pause and actually just turn this into. Uh, it's not going to work, is it? No, no, it's not going to work. As a way to say, let's pause and turn this into a. Let's pause, let's pause and turn this into a single belt for now. Because if we do that, then we won't have any capacity issues and we won't just throw fabric into these machines unnecessarily. There we go. Uh, the other thing that we need to consider very, very briefly is that on the open market, we probably ain't getting enough stuff. Yeah, the order interval just isn't quick enough, so we're running out of fabric sheets too quickly. So, buy 100. Can I, can I change this? Rule conditions, yeah. Less than... Less than... Uh, by 100, if less than 100. Save. Okay, so now we should actually be able to get a huge amount... Yeah, there we go. A huge, 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 huge amount of, uh, of fabric sheets, which is excellent. Okay. Already you can see that that's making a bit of a difference. Looks like things are looking a little bit a little bit better for us uh, It turns out that camo gloves camo gloves because of the way that they only consume like a single Turn this off Turn this off and turn this off too. Yeah, we're gonna leave these off for the foreseeable future because camo gloves only require one single fabric sheet there is just an overabundance of fabric in the system, which means that, you know, we can just afford to leave that turned off for the foreseeable future. Uh, I'm going to put craft speed down to a second and output speed down to one second as well, which is real nice. So we're just going to be pumping out these pumping out these trousers as fast as we possibly can. Excellent. And we are going to be shipping combat trousers away. And that is looking... That is looking great. Is that going to lead to a little bit of uh, a little bit of financial security? Honestly, I kind of hope that it will. Kind of hope that it will. Similarly, over here, we're going to turn this dispenser off. We're going to turn this dispenser off because we've just got thousands and thousands and thousands of fabric gloves that are still in dire need of being processed and combined. So, you know, let's not let's not just continue to throw good money after bad for want of a better expression. Look at that money that we've got coming in. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's great. That's really good. Really, really good. Okay. I fully intend to continue to split up the resources over here, although I'm actually realizing now that maybe getting this splitter into position over here is a little bit of a negative idea, actually. Yeah. Uh, let's let's remove this splitter from, from that belt, because I actually think that it might be worth us getting a couple of bespoke dispensers. 
purely because of the the amount of fabric that is actually desired. I mean, we're barely managing to break even with this uh, with this feeder right here. I mean, we are outputting as fast as we possibly can, and we're still not seeing any fabric backing up. So, I mean, that to me is a is a brutally efficient line, which I'm pretty happy about, to be honest. Pretty darn happy about. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. Okay, let's return to the cookbook and let's see what we can do with camo vests. So, this is just plastic fittings. Camo vests is just plastic fitting. Combat boots is a little bit more complicated because it's boot soles as well. Combat backpack is also just plastic fittings. So, I'm actually going to turn this into a combat backpack. There we go. Combat backpack comes out. Combat backpack literally just needs to be zipped. So, let's remove that from the equation, shall we? So we'll get combat backpack and fabric vest. And then they both need to be zipped once. Similarly, we just need to get a plastic block to be turned into a plastic fitting. Which again, we know from past experience is very, very easy. Yeah, ignore all of this. Ignore all of this nonsense that I've got floating around over here. It's, it's part of the creative process or something. That's right. I'm an artist. No, I don't, don't believe a word of it. Okay, plastic blocks. We will dispense... We will dispense blocks. Then we will heat blocks. And how many? How many blocks are actually required in order to make this... In order to make this work? Also, I should, uh... Get rid of some belts over here. Uh, yeah, return to the cookbook. You can return to the cookbook. Return to the cookbook. It's camo vest, combat backpack. We merge them in a merger. Is it just one? Is it just one that is required? It's two. Okay, so it's two plastic fittings. It's two plastic fittings in order to make the fabric vest. How many plastic fittings are required? It's one plastic fitting for the... For the camel gloves. Okay, so it's a slightly better ratio. It's a slightly more profitable ratio for us, I think. Okay, we're going to need two of those machines anyway. Whether we're going to be able to orbitally insert the plastic fittings is something that we'll have to see. Because we're going to need to get a bridge to climb into here. If we want to, of course, split the flow up. Uh, alternatively, a decline belt might be fine. But I would wager that it won't be. So I have to remove that from there. That's fine. Bridge decline. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Is that enough space to squeeze in another one? No, another belt. Okay, so that looks good. That's the elevated belt. We don't want that. I don't want elevated belt. Not quite yet. And yet that presents us with a problem because the belt cannot be perfectly offset like that. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. Uh... Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine, actually, I think, because we can move this entire setup across a little bit. Like, that's not the end of the world. The issue comes when we have to worry about things like, uh, like this happening. Yeah, like things like that happening. Weekly factory reports? Uh, production value, running cost. Okay, so technically we made money, right? Saying technically we made money is just the biggest cop-out in the world because in actuality, I don't think we made a... I don't think we made a penny, to be honest. I don't think we made a, a bloomin' penny. We ended up probably just about breaking even, which is which is kind of nice. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's, take the other, let's take the other tack. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Honestly, I do kind of like this because it feels a lot more feels a lot more grounded, you know, in reality in terms of what you can and can't do with production belts. I mean, sure, I, I appreciate, you know, the game is taking the game is taking creative liberties and uh, I'm certain that you know, in actuality producing camo gloves isn't like this. But it feels it feels different. It feels uh, it feels very unique. 
the way that the way that it's played. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Excellent. Look at that. Okay. There we flippin' go. That is just about perfect. Okay. Move this across just a smidgeroonie. Uh, oh, we can actually fit this under here. But not exactly under here where I want it to be fitted. It's fine. That goes over there. That's not bad. Uh, if we can make this side work, then that would uh, then that would be excellent. This side can work. Wonderful. I'm not super bothered about the convoluted nature of the belts. Like that is that is fine. So you are going to be set. You are going to be set to merge into. Whoops. So you do camo vests, right? So you do yeah fabric vests. Then we get a camo vest over here. And you do combat backpacks, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, fabric backpack into combat backpack. Excellent. We just need plastic fixtures. Fabric backpack and uh, a single plastic fitting is all that is actually required in order to make a combat backpack. So that's not actually a tremendous amount of resource. Now that I come to think of it. But that's okay. A heater. Yep, we're going to grab ourselves a heater. Is that going to take me over the limit in terms of gas? It might. That's okay, though. Uh, a plastic former, a single plastic former. Is that going to be enough? Mm, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Squeeze this in here. Excellent. Yeah, we need to make sure that this employee can actually get to their workstation. Yeah, I appreciate. I appreciate you're just roaming at the moment looking for something to do. But your workstation was going to be obscured if I if I didn't take that action. Right. So bridge up. Bridge up. Five hundred bucks a piece. You know, it's a it's a pricey it's a pricey bridge. As bridges go. Does that work? That actually blooming well works. Okay, so now we see if we can try and use some of these bits and bobs that are just lying around in order to construct a great belt over to here. Looking good. Alrighty. Okay, so that's going to combine. That's going to give us fabric backpack, combat backpack, camo vest. So let's see if we can try and address the camo vest additional stages now. So once it's been... Once it's been combined, we just need to go through two sewing levels, and that's it. Okay, well, it's probably worth me just doing it with, you know, bespoke machines. Uh, I was kind of thinking maybe, just maybe, we could end up... If they both need... If Combat Backpack just needs two... They both just need two sewing levels. They both just need two sewing levels. Okay. Crazy idea. Can we run both of the outputs through a single sewing machine setup? I actually think that that might be that might be the play. The other thing that I want to see if we can try and do, I want to see if we can try. I want to see if we can try and output onto the same packaging uh, line. I don't know if we're gonna end up sort of if it if it separates the the combat backpacks from the uh, from the camo gloves or from the trousers. I, I just don't know. I just don't know. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see. There we go, and can we do? It was it was all going so well. It was all going so well until this happened. It was all going so darned well. Ah, it's just offset by just a little bit. Like, just a little bit too... Like, just a little bit too much, I think. It's not to say that we couldn't just get a separate boxing machine. What do we do that? Ah, oh, he's done it. He's done it! He's blooming well done it. Okay, so what we need to do now... All we need to do now is see if we can get... If we can get more dispensers, because we will need more dispensers... 
More dispensers, that's right. We want to make sure that we dispense fabric sheets. Dispense fabric sheets. We need to see if we can try and get this added, this added, this added, this added, this added. Yeah, okay. Fine. Go back to this here. Add station. Cool. Pretty sure this is not the way that, you know, you're supposed to play this game where you just mix people's you just mix people's belts around but ah, frankly i mean i don't really give a hoot okay you don't have enough utility capability we just need more power okay one more singular battery it's gonna get us over the line stick it in the corner of the factory over here fine turn on power on okay we good we good we good we good power on power on power on all of these machines i don't want to do them individually What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, we need to set uh we need to set an output. Uh plastic fitting. Plastic fitting is what we require. Output speed, decrease that. Crafting speed, decrease that as much as we can. Yeah, we want to make sure that we're outputting as much as we possibly can. Okay. Power on. Power on. Wonderful. Output speed down. Output speed down. That's right. I'm really trying to end up chucking out as much stuff as I possibly can. The real interesting thing is going to occur when we get to the end section up here. Also, we don't have enough utility capability. Again, we still have issues with this. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Couple more bits of... Couple more bits of battery or whatever. Whatever the heck they're called. You know, it's not going to hurt anyone. We're going to be fine. Okay. Have we got bits and bobs coming out the other side here? Looks good. Looks good. Backpack. They're going in there. But we ain't got anything coming out. What's what's the issue here? What's the issue? Why is this not working? Camo vest? Have I done it the wrong way around? Zipper? Fabric vest? plastic fitting we've definitely got plastic fitting we've definitely got a plastic vet it's because the zipper's not turned on okay i i see what the i see what the issue is here must be manned by an lc worker okay that's fine grab you uh add that cool power on right does that does that work a little bit better okay so it doesn't count there we go okay great the fabric vests are coming through the fabric backpacks should come through now. Excellent. Okay, and it looks like... It looks like them passing through the sewing stations is enough. We don't need to... We don't need to worry about this too much. That looks good. Okay, how's it How's it working out in the, in the boxes here? Combat trousers. Do they just stick them all into one big box? Right. I do worry that that is maybe perhaps not the best way to go about doing things we're going to end up giving people a whole bunch of the materials that they don't actually want so you're ordering a bunch of camo gloves which is wonderful you know it's great combat trousers camo vests camo gloves again all really really nice how have we got so many combat trousers how have we got so many combat trousers and how have we got so few camo vests oh the cut because the the trousers have been on the go for a, a good long time now all right, well, I guess we'll see if we automatically accept... I guess we'll see if we automatically accept orders of that nature. Like, orders where there's just a, a considerable amount of crossover. I mean, either way, it's it's good. I'm happy that it's working. Very, very happy that it's working. We need to just see if we can try and increase our production speed. So I'm actually going to lower the output speed here, lower the output speed there. So we just start spewing out more and more and more vests of every single different type. It's looking good. Yeah, I mean, look, as long as as long as it doesn't, as long as it doesn't give us any issues over here with regards to the boxing, then we'll be fine. If it does give us issues with the boxing, then we're gonna have to split this belt off and get a, a second, separate, independent belt for uh, for fabric backpacks or combat backpacks, whatever the heck they're called. 
But, you know, so far, I, I don't think that I can really complain too, too much. Uh, what's the issue here? What's the issue? Have we run out of fabric blocks? I think we've actually run out of everything over here. How interesting. Okay, turn that on. Turn that on. Turn that on. Turn that on. Yeah, also, can we hire a mechanic, please? Or somebody who is remotely qualified to fix stuff? Mechanic. Hire. Daily cost is a lot. But that's okay. You got zero toolkits, my dude? Do we have a mechanic already? Per chance? No. No, we don't. Toolkits, zero. I've already given you a toolkit. You definitely had... There we go. Stick this over here. Recovering toolkits. All right. Will will this guy manage to repair? I've heard that there are issues. I've heard that there are issues with getting with getting the mechanics to repair stuff. Presumably there's going to be access issues for for all of the mechanics. It's also going to cost us like a thousand grand if we do it manually. I don't know if it costs a thousand grand. A thousand grand? I don't know if it costs a grand for uh, for the mechanic to fix them. I'd certainly be hoping that that's not the case, though. Either way, this is looking good. This is looking good. I'm very, very happy with this. We're still boxing stuff, which is great. We're still boxing stuff for storage. You're going to repair this. Again, doesn't look... Well, looks like there's maybe a little bit of... A little bit of a repair issue there. Mm, that's okay, though. That's okay. Why are we not outputting plastic fittings here? Why have we just stopped outputting plastic fittings entirely? I presume that you're coming to repair this right now, which is good. Very, very good. Come repair this. There we go. Get that repaired. Okay. So does it not work when... Okay, don't repair. Don't repair. Don't repair. Don't repair anymore. It's fine. Yeah, so so why is this uh, why is this straight up just not working? I would love an explanation as to why... You tell me that you're working. And then you... Okay. Weird. Very, very weird. What about now? Yeah, output resources, broken, outputting crafting penalty. There we go, okay. Fix it up. Go, 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 go. Okay, we got a thousand bucks. We got a thousand bucks, and that is... Very, very dicey. Very, very dicey. Everything needs to be repaired. It's honestly quite a considerable length of time since we actually invested in a mechanic. I mean, I didn't even realize that we had a mechanic, to be honest. Just turn them all on and off again. See if that makes a difference, eh? Okay, mechanic, what are you doing? Heading to fix object. Honestly, great job. Great, great, great freaking job. Great freaking job. Okay, can I not accept any orders? You're running out of fabric sheets. Yeah, we don't exactly have the money that we that we need in order to in order to do any of these things. Camo vests, camo gloves. We we only have camo glove production. But it seems like people only want to order camo gear when it's with other camo gear and stuff. So I guess it's okay that we're boxing the stuff together. Active orders, we got one active order. Uh, come on, somebody... Somebody offer me something good here. Can I just turn down somebody? Okay, turn down Jerry. You ain't... There's no way. You... Yeah. There's no way that I'm getting... You know, a thousand gloves together. That, that just ain't happening. But I would happily... I would happily try... And get some some trousers or some vests or something together, you know. Like this this is one that I think I'd be interested in taking. 
So, yeah. So, fulfillment in a while. But for now, to be honest, we just need to see if we can try and get our glove production back up and running. Oh, come on. How have you not managed to... There we go. I know we're in negative cash flow territory. I am not happy about this. Indirect death counts? Oh, boy. A hundred and something? Speaking of finance... Factory output, we don't even need to worry about that. Bankruptcy threshold, minus 100, minus 75,000. Okay. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Can we just maybe take out a loan? Is that a thing that we can do? Loans don't exactly look like a thing that is offered in the world of, uh, of finance. I am just spending money on the repairs left, right, and center here. Also, the fact that this machine wasn't on and had to be re-enabled by myself manually. Very, very, very irritating. Also, I do know that we do have penalties on things. That's, uh... It's not ideal, but it is what it is. Yeah, where are you going? You gonna fix this area up right here? You're gonna fix this area up right here. Great. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Let's get these gloves. Let's get these gloves going. Okay, we, we managed to we managed to turn a profit, which is real good. It still really irritates me that we occasionally need to turn our things back and on and off again. That's uh, irritating. I don't actually understand why that's the case. There we go. But that is fine. There we go. Okay, glove production has been restored. Good stuff. And that should mean that we just get a whole bunch more gloves, which is great. Really, really, really happy with that. Okay, we've still got plenty of storage space available, which is wonderful. Still got plenty of storage space available. I honestly think that as long as we're able to maintain close to full production, we're probably going to be fine. Like, we are, we are probably going to be A-OK. -okay. I, I think that we will be fine. Okay, we got a good reputation with most of our clients. Which is fine. Because, of course, we are playing in the US, we've got to consider the certain relationship that we do have with uh, the different US agencies. I mean, you know, it's it's fine. It's, it's okay. Uh, our relationships are, are okay at this moment in time. All right, so that's all looking good. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty darn happy with this. I'm going to reduce this. I'm going to increase... Increase it to, like, every four seconds. Yeah, it's fine. Because we just don't need... We just don't need that many plastic fittings at this moment in time. Yeah. Okay, that's, uh, that's looking much, much better. Again, like, I'm really, really happy with the way this has turned out. Oh my goodness, we have so many plastic fittings that it's actually kind of unreal. Okay. Increase the craft speed to like four seconds. Completely, completely fine. Because we've got a massive backlog of plastic fittings to go through. Yeah, okay. Your line control worker, no idea where the mechanic is. Is the mechanic able to access this area? I mean, this is exactly why, by the way, we need to get ourselves... We need to get ourselves stairs. To get over the line. And down onto the other side of the line over here. Uh, yep. Oh, is that not possible? That's not a possible... Not a possible thing to do. Okay, what about... What about this over here? Give that a shot. Maybe that'll allow... That'll allow slightly easier access. What about any other... Is there any other inaccessible area at this moment in time? Might well be. Hopefully a mechanic's able to access that area. Uh, we'll need to make sure that a mechanic can actually get into this area over here. So let's... Bridge that gap over yonder. It's looking good. Happy with that. This area as well will need to be accessible. Uh, this area might be a little bit challenging to get into though. What about a little a little corner? 
little corner walkway there. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's real nice. Look at that. Okay, this is looking like a proper factory here, folks. Also, did we manage to get that big order shipped off? No, we're still waiting on a big order to go. And I don't think... I don't think that we're going to manage to to make this one happen unless we turn off our automation rules. Automation rules, available orders. Yeah, turn that off. Actually, keep that on. If it can be fulfilled, send it. But don't take on any brand new orders. Because I want to make sure that we get these ones done in the appropriate time scale. Because I'm not convinced that we're going to be able to... If we're not, uh, if we're not careful. Okay, so that's looking good. That's looking good. The camo glove production is, I mean, it's looking fantastic, to be honest. It's looking really, really good. Looking real, real nifty. That needs to be powered off and then turned back on again, because for some obscene reason, it just decides not to work, even though it should be working. That's looking good. I mean, we're never going to be able to reach this or this. But, you know, we can repair those manually if, if needs be. A little bit pricey, a little bit daft that we have to do that, but I suppose it does make sense. I also didn't even know... I don't even know if this is technically accessible, even though there's a little... a little walkway over here. It might not... it might not be... Uh, it might not be good by game standards. And we seem to be out of uh, bits of plastic. We seem to be out of bits of plastic. Decrease this a little bit. There we go. Maybe we can inject a little bit more plastic into the mix. See if that makes any, uh, any difference. It might, it might not. No, it doesn't look like it is. We need to... We need to jack the speed up. Can you just... Yeah, there we go. Go back to go back to basics. Uh, the other thing that I should consider is that we probably don't have enough plastic blocks coming in at this moment in time. Yeah, so we should get the... We should get the market to automatically order some more plastic blocks. So we're going to go into edit this here. If less than 100, order 100. That's uh, that's much better. Ever since doing that with fabric sheets, we've we've uh, we've been in the money, which is which is excellent. Okay, globe wise, how are things? How are things looking? We don't have any factories in any of these countries. I know weekly factory report. Hey, that's uh, that's just come in. Production value fifteen grand, running cost eight grand. So you know we are turning a a technical profit, which is which is excellent. Leave the globe there. Wonderful. Order-wise, we are ever so close to fulfilling this order. We still have a while to do it, but this is going to get us 27 grand, which is not an inconsiderable amount of money. Uh, the other thing that we do need to consider, the other thing that we do need to consider is... We need to consider... We need to consider... We need to consider the souls, the boots. That's right, the, the boots, the heart and the soul. So, without further ado, combat boot. What do we need? Okay, so we need plastic fitting. But then, the problem is, is that we actually need to get the plastic fitting turned back into a boot sole. So, it needs to be formed yet again. Which is somewhat of a challenge. But that's okay. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to just uh, yoink out a bit of belts over here. Yoink out a little bit of belt over there. We're going to split the flow. If I can actually see what the heck I'm doing. There we go. So it's going to go in there. And we're going to yoink this back in here. Uh, yeah. Okay, yoink that in there. That goes in there. Excellent. Okay. And then this can come down over here. And we can use this to be reformed or reheated. Does it need to be heated again? I think it might need to be heated again if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it needs to be reheated again. 
and then it needs to be turned into a a boot sole in a plastic former again I say again it's not being turned into a boot sole again it's being turned it's being plastic plastically formed again that's right that is a technical term so you know don't even okay boot sole wonderful and then the other half of the recipe is much more like a conventional much more like a conventional uh yeah fabric boot it's literally that simple yeah it's fine okay combat boot where's the where's the place that we want to do this to be honest i uh i don't know i don't actually i don't actually know let's see if we can set it up over here i guess we got plenty of i say we got plenty of cash we absolutely categorically have not got anywhere near plenty of cash right so that goes in there we need to get a sewing machine right in yonder duh, duh, duh. yep a zipping machine right in yonder okay we're very very close to the ground in terms of finances at this moment in time Okay, and then we're going to get a merger, which is going to cost a blooming lot of money, but that's okay. That's fine. I can just about afford that. And then we are down to our last couple of pennies here. In there. Wonderful. Um... Fine. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. We got negative two bucks. I can just about tolerate that. We are very, very close to satisfying this order. But that's okay. Uh, and also, we're not taking on any brand new orders at this moment in time as well. Which is, you know, it's worth noting. It's, uh, it's notable. Yeah, this is not turned on. And it shouldn't be turned on. Because we need to make sure that it's added. That machine needs to be added as well. That machine needs to be added. 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 And that machine needs to be added. Excellent. Power them all on. Which, of course, is completely impossible given the sheer craziness of our power setup. There we go. Okay. Outputs fabric sheet. Turn on. Outputs fabric boots. Turn on. Turn on turn on and turn on okay so we did have enough power combat boot there we go all right so we got some souls coming in here and that's looking fine right fabric sheets we don't have any fabric sheets oh it's because we can't do any auto orders because we are straight up out of cash so that's so that's great can I fulfill this mission now, please? No, I can't. Can I fulfill anything else? I can fulfill this. I need the I need the cash injection, frankly. I need the cash injection. That's okay. We'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. The Russian civilian retailers will eventually get their will eventually get their product. I'm sorry it's taken such a long time. I'm really trying here. I'm doing my best. Okay. So after that, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. hold up, hold up, hold up, power off, power off, power off, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, get that picked up. Right, so then we go back to the cookbook. Combat boots, what do we need to do after this? Literally just need to do sewing one and then into end of the line. I mean... Okay, I guess we could just... Yes, we could just, you know, it's just it's just as easy just to set up a brand new end of the line over here. It's not worth it's not worth trying to like get it sent all the way over to to there because then we block access to that stairwell and you know just a little bit of a faff to be honest. So let's not faff around with that too too much. The downside of this though, the downside of this is that we are gonna need to get ourselves 
are going to need to get ourselves brand new end of the line set up. And we're also probably going to need to place down a brand new desk in order to make sure that somebody's going to be able to power this up. What if I delete that? No. Do we have anyone that's got like a free slot? You've got a free slot. All right. That's okay. Power that boxing machine up. Power that machine up. Wonderful. Uh, no, 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 no. Except that's not wonderful. Because that should, uh, that should be a sewing machine in there. Just a singular sewing machine. Just a singular sewing machine. Combat, sewing, excellent. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Alright. Please, revert. 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 This needs to be linked, because of course it does. I, I don't understand the whole the whole thing about linking. It's to try and incorporate... I, I Well, this is my, my guess anyway. It's to try and incorporate some element of, like, staff intervention, and, oh, this is how, this is how you get your running... your running costs, is by having a staff. And the way that you have a staff is that they are, you know, responsible for the upkeep of certain lines. But, I don't know, it just seems a little bit... It just seems a little bit daft to me, to be honest, but hey-ho. Okay. Yeah, let's leave this on one times. We don't want to end up faffing around with this too, too much. Okay, go into orders. Go into orders. I am, like, of the opinion that we are almost certainly never going to fulfill this this request. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Feggy Mitchell. Mitchie. That doesn't sound... That doesn't sound like a real name. But to be fair... I would probably estimate that uh, that Faggy ain't gonna use her real name with me. No, I'm just a I'm just a lowly military equipment supplier. All right. Okay. How did I manage to go into three grand of debt? That's that's a challenge. Uh, okay, let's see if we can hoover this up. Thank you very much. There we go. Get that cleaned up. Hoover this up. Cool. All right, but so far, so far, so good. We still got 21 spare slots. Come on. Come on. Come on, Mitchie. Let's get you your... Let's get you your stuff. You're running out of plastic block. I know I'm running out of plastic block because I need... I need plastic blocks. Okay, you know what? Jerry? Let's give Jerry what he wants. Let's give let's give Jerry what he wants so that we can hopefully get ourselves just across the line a little bit. Uh, anything that requires literally just camel gloves, I should be good for. Combat boots. We're actually we're actually okay for combat boots. Camel gloves, okay, I'll sell to you, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Oh boy, that's a lot of gloves. I did not anticipate that that would that I would have to sell that many gloves, but that's okay. That's okay though. That's okay. That's fine. We'll 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 manage. Okay, we got a couple of bits and bobs that need to be repaired, but frankly, I'm just relying on my uh, on my engineering friend to do that. We have we have got a lot of inventory here, folks. We have got a lot of inventory. I suppose it looks like a bit more because we're you know we're using all of the shelves closest to the camera. That's right, a good, a good trick to make everything look a little bit more full than it actually is. But, you know, the point still stands. We're carrying a little bit too much inventory. Let's get this hoovered up just a smidge so it looks a little bit tidier. Yeah. Okay, bankruptcy threshold. We're not, you know, we're not even close to... Not even close to meeting that yet, which is great. What am I looking for? I mean, the global market is fine. I, I think that we're okay with that. Come on, just get us get us the trousers that we need. Get us the trousers that we need for Michi, and we'll be great. Get us the combat trousers. Why are we struggling to get the combat trousers so much? Are we perhaps just, like, not doing the combat trousers correctly? Are we not doing them correctly? Adds a zipper. Combat trousers. Yeah, we're getting them coming through. 
But it doesn't look like they're actually showing up. Well, actually, no, tell a lie. They are there. They are there. It's just fine. It's just taking a while. It's literally just taking a while because apparently we... We just need... We just need a lot. Uh, yeah, okay. Can I sell... Can I sell some stuff? I really, really, really would like to complete one of these... One of these missions. Combat backpacks. I can sell some combat backpacks to you. Sure, for nine grand, I'll, I'll take it. Camo gloves. I could sell camo gloves, but I'm not going to do that. Because I'm going to wait until I've got the... Wait until I've got this. And then the combat trousers. Finally, we can... We can sell to Michi. Honestly, you know what? Screw managing my orders myself. It's it's all about it's all about uh, it's all about getting the game to do it. I I don't want to be remotely responsible for the for the stuff that I can that I can already see I've messed up. So I'm gonna fully wholeheartedly get the game to do that. Also, we have messed up the craft speed so much. You know, just give me give me one second there. There we go. Looking good, because we need, we just need more combat gloves coming through here. Yeah. We now need more combat gloves. So, you know, there's always something. Give me a repair on you. Cool. And let's not repair anything else. Okay. So, you know, definitely working a little bit more space into this, into this process over here would be good. But... The fact that we didn't is is not the end of the world. Okay, so we literally just need a few more combat trousers, a few more camo gloves, and we will be sorted. And then the video game can do whatever the heck it wants with regards to orders going forward, because frankly, I just don't care. I just don't care. Right, we got combat boots. We got combat boots. They're looking, they're looking good. We got plenty of souls, which is also nice. I mean, this, this setup is working. This setup is working. It literally is. I think, though, going forward, it's not going to be about creating large, complex setups like this. I think that we want to get, you know, reasonably short lines, kind of like we've done with the camo gloves over here. Even if we don't end up having the perfect ratio, which we, we absolutely do not have a perfect ratio, by the way. You know, we absolutely don't. We've, we've, we've just got a disastrous ratio over here. I still think that this is probably slightly better than having a ridiculously complex setup purely because of the station mechanics, right? Like having the station having the station numbers limited to 14 means that this is like what three, two and a half stations, something like that. These two stations, plus a little bit of help from this guy running a, a few machines over here. You know, having having multiple stations is just a bit of a faff. It's just a bit of a faff. It's just a little bit it's just a little bit daft. Uh, whilst we are waiting for all of that to happen, why don't we look at the staff area? And see if we see if we can try and get ourselves a coffee table, a wall-mounted television. Can I? No, can I not? I want to get. There we go. Wall-mounted television, and then we'll get some some seats over here. How did some? How did gloves get over here? What a disaster! What a disaster! All right, you know what? Let's get some. Get that in there. Uh, so TV, move that slightly further forward. Excellent. And we stick a table down in the center here. Does that make it table accessible? It does make it table accessible. It doesn't make it table accessible. That makes it table accessible. So is this actually a video? It's actually a cat video. That's a fox? That is that a cat or is that a fox? I can't actually tell. Either way delighted this look Tyrese Leonard is very happy unbelievably happy with the quality of entertainment that is being offered to him uh, on his work television which is great anyway let me finish this flipping order I finished the order I finished the order it automatically accepted which is great uh you know what turn turn this on there we go brilliant let's automatically start doing orders that we can that we can accept brilliant this is great news. Okay, look at this. We had a massive stockpile of resource, so it makes sense that we are, like, catching up with, uh, with all of the, the back orders, which is pretty darn good. What's, what's the issue here? You're not happy? You're not happy that you don't have any toolkits? That is not my problem. Just go and get some toolkits. I don't, I don't understand games that 
you know, have expendable toolkits. Like, for goodness sake, a toolkit is a toolkit, you know? You don't need to buy a new hammer every every time you fix a machine. You know, maybe in under, you know, very, very niche cases, but, you know, usually, usually no. Also, why the heck is this not powered on? Are you telling me that we haven't been making, we haven't been making gosh darn, oh no, we have been making gosh darn fabric backpacks for the last wee while, but we do actually need to turn this on. Uh, it was only thanks to the massive backlog of materials that, uh, that this process actually ended up working. There we go. That's my B. Sorry about that. Okay. Get that activated. Get that turned on. There we go. Start alternating. Start alternating. That is fine. Yeah. We still should have, like, loads of plastic fittings. Perfectly happy with that. We still have plenty of boot soles. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. We could definitely do a little bit of a better job by lining up all of the craft times. That is something that I probably will do when we get serious about, like, creating a properly efficient line. But look at that. We've actually started making money, which is, you know, not a, an inconsiderable, not an inconsiderable objective altogether. Looking to rest? Well, you can go and sit down in our one, two settee in front of the cat videos. It's literally, it's literally that simple. On that wonderful note, ladies and gents, we're going to end this episode right here. I'm really happy with what we've uh, with what we've got going on. I think next time we're going to really, really, really focus on research. I really wanted to focus on cash flow uh, in this episode, and that actually worked. Next episode, we're going to be exploring chemical production. We're going to be exploring ammunition production, and we're hopefully going to explore the notoriety scale as well. And I'm hoping that we're going to become unbelievably notorious and it is going to be brilliant and we are going to do lots and lots of evil things. That's what I hope. Anyway, you'll have to tune in then. Thanks as ever to all of the support over on the Patreon. Uh, thank you as ever to all of the fantastic Patreon supporters over there. Also thanks to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.